I love this part. Me too. I have so many mixed feelings. Alan, can you hear me? I can hear you without the phone. Don't be snippy. I'm just excited to talk to my baby. I'm excited to talk to you too. So, what's this mischievous about you moving out to go live with the little Polish girl? How about calling her my wife? Wives don't take boys from their mothers. They do. That's why we marry them. I just hope I'm not dead from a broken heart before you get back. Ma, please. Everyone from NASA is listening to this phone call. Good. They should know what a horrible son you are. Okay, Ma. Great talking to you. Gotta go. Well. Space is ruined. Howie? Howie? Hey, there's my beautiful bride. Can you see me? I can. How are you? I'm amazing. I mean, this is even better than I dreamed. I look out the window and it's all so unbelievable. Good for you. I just had a seemingly endless dinner with your mom. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's nice. It was. Until I found out you never told her we're not going to live with her. Let's talk about that for a minute. Hey, look, this pen is floating. How crazy is that? Oops. You realize you just laid your ass off to your wife and your mother. I know. What are you going to do when you get back to Earth? Oh, I'm never going back. <laughs> hey, buddy, how's it going up there? You don't have to shout, Raj. It's not like I'm an astronaut floating around in outer space. So oh, wait, I am. <laughs> so, is it everything you hoped it would be? It's better. <laughs> I wake up every morning and I just can't believe I'm on this incredible adventure. Hey, Front Lopes, did you clean the space toilet? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm talking to my friends. You know the rules. New guy scrubs the toilet. <laughs> if you do a good job, next time we'll give you a brush. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> We're always giving each other a hard time up here. It's kind of like being in a frat, you know, joking, kidding around, hurting feelings. <laughs> okay, my turn. Let me talk to him. Go ahead. 2311 North Los Robles Avenue, Pasadena, California, to International Space Station. Can you read me? Over. <laughs> yes, I read you, Sheldon. Copy that. Over. <laughs> what are you doing? I am talking to a man in space. If you don't have the <coughs> they might as well be at the coffee bean over on Lake Street. <laughs> You're out of your mind, Sheldon. Ah, the negative. My mother had me tested. Over. <laughs> Come on. Scrub it up, Loops. <laughs> it's all right. I gotta go. There's a meteor shower. You want to see a meteor shower? Take a look at what Dimitri just left you in the toilet. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> Bye, buddy! Hey, Bernie. There's my hubby. How's everything going up there? Oh, it's okay. Space is beautiful. Earth is beautiful. Same old, same old. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Everything's fine. <laughs> Howard. The other astronauts are being mean to me. <laughs> oh, no, what are they doing? Well, like, for instance, the other day when I was asleep, one of the guys went on a spacewalk and glued a big-eyed rubber alien mask to the outside of my window. <laughs> when I woke up, I screamed for, like, nine minutes. Oh, Howie. You can see it if you want. It's on YouTube. Google astronaut screams for nine minutes. Why don't you stand up to them? What am I supposed to say? I don't know. Say, being mean is lame. What's cool is being nice. Great. I'll do 
that when I want to be the first guy in space to get a wedgie. Do you want me to call somebody at NASA? No. My mom already tried that. It only made things worse. Hey, Bernie, guess what? I stood up to the other astronauts, like you said, and I gotta tell you, last night was the first time in a week I got a good night's sleep. <laughs> Upset. Nope. This is my proud face. Hey, Bernie. Hey, how's the little astronauty hottie? <laughs> okay, I guess. It's just being cooped up in this tin can for weeks on end is starting to get to me. Well, hang in there. You just have a couple more days to go and then you'll be home. I know. I gotta get back to work. I love you. Love you too. Hey, Bernie, before you go, can you do something for me? What do you want me to do? Okay, here it is. I really miss gravity. Can you drop something so I can watch it fall? <laughs> you eat? You're serious? Oh, baby, you're killing me. Hey, I was expecting to hear from you today. Everything okay? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> What's wrong? Well, remember the Soy use capsule they were sending to bring us home? Uh-huh. It's delayed. We're going to be here at least another week, maybe ten days. It's the Russians, so you don't know. Dogs up here on the 60s. Come on, Howard. No one's leaving you up there. I don't know how much longer I can take this. I can't sleep. And zero gravity is giving me crazy acid reflux. I'm down to my last three tums. You're gonna be fine. You survived that Weight Watchers cruise with your mom. And they ran out of low-fat ice cream on day two. Just calm down and take a few deep breaths. Okay, okay. What am I doing? I'm using up all the oxygen. <laughs> if I die, I promise you'll never have sex with another man. <laughs> How you doing, How? You feeling a little better? Oh, a lot better. <laughs> Thanks. One sec. Listen close, I don't have a lot of time. I need you to go to my house. In my bedroom, you'll find a model rocket. I want you to take it and bring it back to your place. Okay. Step two, build a version roughly 14 stories high. Fill it full of rocket fuel and come get me. I'll leave the door unlocked. Howie, honey, maybe you should talk to someone. Let them know you're having a little anxiety. No, no, I'm fine. No anxiety. We should probably talk in code. From now on, frog is me, sandwich means you, and lemon means rocket. So come on, sandwich, build me a lemon, because Froggy wants to come home. Hey, Howie, how you feeling? Better. Much better. The other astronauts held me down, gave me a shot. <laughs> Attention, people of Earth. Tonight, there will be two moons in the sky. Howie, stop that. NASA's watching this. 